Welcome back, everyone, to my Let's Play of Final Fantasy V, the four-job fiesta for Tiny Toes Rat Rescue. In our last episode, we had just entered the third tablet dungeon, the Underwater Volcano. So it's kind of like Final Fantasy Legend 2, we had that one underwater volcano, but no one's mistaken this one for uh, Neptune, like they did in that Let's Play. You should go check that one out if you haven't seen it. Um, it features Linus, Vincent... P, uh, they were all rats, and then Honey Mouse. Yeah, she gets to ride a big robot suit. Mm hmm. So, we don't want to hit that switch over there. I'll hit it on the way back. But if we hit that switch, uh, the little land bridge that I'm going to cross after this battle will disappear. So, we don't want to uh, hit that. Otherwise, we're going to have to go through lava, or we're going to have to take the long way around. So, we don't want to do that. So. so, here's, uh, we got some more of the unknowns. Every single en one of the enemies in this, uh, dungeon is going to be known as the unknown uh there are uh four of them actually but uh this one uh there's two type of flowers so so you can tell which kind of ones they are if it tries to use the delta attack uh it's the version one or if you have real trouble trouble stealing an item it's probably the uh number one because it only has one steal the beast killer if you manage to steal a potion off it, uh, then it's the other one uh, that has the steal of a, of a potion, so. But statistically, they're all the same, so uh, it doesn't matter which one you run into. They're, uh, they're just going to do the same thing other than you steal, and that one's going to try to do the delta attack, but it will never succeed in doing the delta attack, so. Well, there's not much difference to them, so. But yeah, uh, you can tell sometimes you get a different uh, steal off of them, so. We had a little bit of lava there. Uh, lava's going to be a uh, pretty prominent uh, hazard coming up later on. So, if there's a treasure chest there. How are we going to get it? Well, I will show you how to get it. So, this room has a whole bunch of, uh, like, switches. Uh, you only want to hit a certain switch. Uh, there's a switch over to the right. That's the one we're going to switch. It makes uh, a bridge appear to get to that treasure chest. If you hit any of the other chests um, or the other switches, it'll create a hole and it'll drop you down to the floor below into a pit of lava. So you can take some damage, so... We're actually gonna do that just to save some time. Uh, because if you go down the normal way through the staircase, you're going to have to... Uh, you're gonna have to uh, cross some lava anyway. So this just saves some time, saves some steps to do a, a random encounter. And uh, just makes it a little bit easier. Now, to make things easier, when we finally do get to... Uh, floors that are full of lava, we're going to want to get into a fight and cast the Big Guard spell. A Big Guard will give us the uh, the float status, and even though the uh, the shell and the uh, protect status will wear off after that battle, when we leave the battle, the float status will stay on us, so that allows us to walk over the uh, lava safely. Otherwise, you take 50 damage per step, and we basically run out of potions and high potions. So we want to hit this switch right here. Donk! We saw that little shaken. And that created that little land bridge up there, so. Across the bridge, what do we get? Ooh, a flame ring. So yeah, I actually bought one too many flame rings uh, back in the uh, Mirage Village, but that's okay. We're going to have more than enough money to uh, buy the other rings that we need, so. Now this one we actually want to hit because it'll make us fall down this hole. And we skip going down the stairways up there. We only take one pit of damage, so it's not that bad. So you get one little treasure chest. But all those little other um, holes, that's uh, where you would fall in if you hit it in a, a different switch. So now we're getting into the area where there's going to be a lot of lava. So we're going to want to get into a fight, like I said, to uh, just cast the Big Guard spell. So I'm going to cause a fight to happen here. And unfortunately, I didn't get to cast Big Guard because I fought these skeleton monsters and the last unknown, these ones here. And they have uh, a tendency to cast the uh, the Doom spell. And I uh, I didn't want to cast the uh, Big Guard right away and because uh, they cast the Doom so. But there we go. I'll see the stats a little bit later. Yeah, I cast the uh, the big guard there. Now I can float. I just fled from that battle. I'll fight it a little bit later, so don't worry. You'll see their stats. But now we won't take any damage on these lava tiles, so that's good. We got two treasure chests here. Grab that last one. Phoenix down. 
And here we go. Here's the final enemy, the unknown. They're like skeletons. So now earlier, uh, I you saw I used the magic lantern. Uh, it summoned Bahamut. The magic lantern used starts uh, uh, the strongest summon, which is Bahamut, and then it slowly works its way down to uh, to the last summon, which is the the chocobo. If you use it a bunch of times afterwards, uh, what will end up happening is uh, you'll get this chocobo egg. Uh, but it doesn't do anything. I'll show off those summons uh, in the next episode. But what I want to do is I want to use the Magic Lantern twice. That'll use the Bahamut summon and the Leviathan summon. Then the next summon after that will be the Odin summon. Uh, Odin, I said, if you use it against an enemy that uh, doesn't have the heavy status or isn't basically isn't immune to instant death, uh, Odin will do that uh, Zangetsu attack and just slice him up. That's going to be really useful for the boss of this uh, dungeon. So yeah, you don't really have to worry about the boss at all. It's going to be a piece of cake as long as you have either a summoner with Odin or you've got that magic lamp. This boss will never be a problem. So yeah, even with the four job fiesta rules, uh, the four job fiesta you can, it's only you, it doesn't prohibit you from using items. So yeah, any class can use the, the magic lantern. So yeah, just easy way to get out of it. So. All right. Now the other thing you gotta watch out for is your float's gonna st stay with you throughout uh, areas. But two things that can remove the float is if we use the cottage there to save, or if if your, one of your characters dies in battle, gets knocked out, then uh, you have to recast the float. So now this uh, dwarf uh, on the right and the left, you can buy weapons. On the bottom and the top, he sells armor. It's kind of basically the armor in the mirage thing. So we were told about dwarfs in Karnak. Here they are. Lolly ho! There will only be five of us, but welcome to the Great Dwarven Kingdom. Lolly ho! Know anything about the magic lamp? Yeah, we got it. I'll take you back to where it's from. The lamp's power will be recharged. Yeah, so after a while, uh, the lamp, when it goes through all the summons, uh, Lolly Bo was digging a tunnel, Lolly. He said it would go around the wall, but why would you want to? Yeah, once you use up all the summons, uh, and you just get that chocobo egg, uh, there's, uh, it's basically useless, so you have to take it back to where you found it, at the top of Istory Falls. And, uh, you just press the A button there, and it recharges, and you can get back to the Bahamut Summon again, and work your way back down. I never worried about it much until now, but it seems like something odd is happening above ground, Lolly. I'm sure a forest is above us. This is your other clue. You combine this with the clue that you got in Crescent about people disappearing in the forest. And it kind of just points you exactly what forest that is. So, yep, that's your clues on how to find the Mirage Village. But we already went there. We're going to have to go there eventually again later to buy some more of those rings. But first we're going to have to leave the Great Dwarven Kingdom. Might as well heal up here. we got a few more rooms to go before the, the boss. So when we use this um, cottage, unfortunately, while it will restore all our health and our MP, it's going to take away our float status. So we're just going to have to get into another fight. Uh, to cast float again, see, yeah, we lost our float status, but it was a price, it was an okay price to pay for being able to uh, fully heal ourselves, so just walk through some water, woohoo! Now we got a really interesting little room here. Once again, we want to uh, get into a fight to cast the big guard so we can float over all this lava. All right. Now if we try to go and grab this chest, oh, it just, uh, it's a little trap. So in order to, uh, that chest is actually the final switch. We have to hit every single one of these switches. And then that'll allow us to hit the final switch in that chest. And that'll open up that door in front of us. And that takes us to the third tablet and the boss. Donk. Hitting all these switches. Now, I've been fleeing from any encounter that has the blob enemies in them. Because the blob, remember, sometimes it can counter with that possess spell. And that removes you from battle. If a character gets removed from battle, they will lose the float status. So you'd have to cast the, uh, the floats, the big god spell all over again. So in order to avoid that, I'm just fleeing. Uh, I have the flee ability on one of my characters uh, to just run from the battle. So that's Kaiser Knuckles. They increase your power if you're unarmed. Uh, so they're good for, like, monks, but we're not going to use them because we ain't going to fight on arm, so. Alright, here's the third tablet. And the third tablet is guarded by the three little piggies. Oink, oink. X death sent us, oink. Mm-hmm. Who told us to kill you, oink, oink. 
Or as you know, nothing personal. Oink, oink. Oink, oink, oink. And these guys are going to huff and puff, but they're not going to blow our house down because we're just going to pause the game here. And I'm going to show off their stats there. So we have uh, three of them there. Uh, they all have the same amount of hit points. Uh, 13,333, uh, but they, if you defeat one of them, they can revive each other, so you kind of want to defeat them all at once. Now, it's hard to defeat them with elemental stuff and spells, because you see some of them, uh, you know, you, you try to use ice, that one up top, the red one will be, you know, healed. Uh, the the blue one, the bottom one, will be healed. Uh, if you use fire, uh, the he you'll heal the red one. Uh, if you try to poison them, uh, the earth one will... Uh, the one, the green one will be healed. So the only spell you can really, really use to hurt them all at the same time would be like Lit 3. So you could break a whole bunch of those uh, uh, lightning rods that I bought. But like I said, the easiest way to do this is, of course, just use the, uh, the Magic Lantern with Odin. As long as you used it twice to use the Bahamut and the Leviathan Summon, well, then uh, you'll, uh, whatchamacallit, be able to... Uh, do uh use Odin when you use it the next time so so yeah just showing off the stats there yeah the blue ones he's susceptible to you know level five death but he's all they're all susceptible to Zentetsuken and Odin and he just runs slices them right up and they are all done and there we go woohoo Quill, being a job level, woohoo. And we get our third tablet, and we also unlock the greatest time magic, Meteo. So I guess they, I don't know how Meteo has to do with time, but I guess they wanted to give uh, some damage spell to, to time magic. They do have Comet, but Comet is a much weaker version of uh, Meteor, so. Yeah. Oh, alrighty. So let's, uh... Head on out of here. Now it's just a quick, easy run back to uh, back to the surface. So we've already encountered all the enemies here. So yep, unfortunately we don't have that exit spell, so we can't use it. So unfortunately I got into a fight and um, what you call it? Uh, we lost uh, uh, Lena there. Lena before I could flee, Lena attacked. Uh, one of those blob enemies and the blob, blob possessed her and she got removed from battle so that's why I had to get into a quick fight there to cast the big guard. I said otherwise every single one of these steps you'll be losing 50 hit points and yep and uh, unlike say like Final Fantasy 1 where uh, you'd lose hit points uh, but you wouldn't it wouldn't uh, KO you uh, this this lava could you know give you a game over if you walk in it long enough so It'll actually knock out your character, so... And unlike Final Fantasy 1, too, you can get into encounters on damage tiles, so... Yeah, Final Fantasy 1 was nice with their damage encounters. So, see, if you press this button here, yeah, see that thing? You'd have to walk through the lava or take the long way around, so... You don't want to hit that button on the way uh, down to the, in through the trench. But we're almost out of the trench, and... Woohoo! We have our second... Uh, I mean, our third tablet. But speaking of second, we will be taken after this. We'll be stopping at the uh, Kusa Castle because we we didn't stop by after we got the second tablet. So we'll do some unlocking. I always uh, mess up there. You gotta be careful when you head down here because if you're holding any buttons, you'll get the. Uh, if you're not hit, holding, if you're hitting like the the cancel button, the run button, yeah. When it says like, do you want to rest? You'll cancel and you won't rest. So you have to head back up the stairs and come back down just to take a little nap to heal ourselves up. But, I don't know how we're sleeping on those chairs, though. It's not like they, rec not like they recline. Well, doesn't matter. We got uh, healed up, so... Woohoo! Now we're gonna head up back to the surface, take off on our airship, and head to the Kuza Castle to unlock six more legendary weapons that we will never use! Probably end up just selling them, maybe, in, like, the Mirage Village. I guess that's a fitting place to sell them, you know. Or well, maybe we'll just sell them at, like, say, like, a, a simple village, like, uh, a tool. Uh, you know, that way, uh, they're easily accessible. But come back on our next episode where we, uh, unlock, uh, some legendary weapons and, uh, go to some, uh, 
bonus dungeons. Take care. Have a good day. Bye.